Hello and welcome back. We are going to make some really simple homemade salsa this evening. So here's all, all we need. We have some tomato, lime, let's see, we have some onions, cilantro, and we need, we need a jar of jalapenos, okay? I don't like using fresh jalapeno, but if you use the jar, the pickled jalapeno, they're fantastic. And 7-Up, I'm going to show you why I'm going to use 7-Up later. So let's get going. Now everything is chopped and ready to go, so let's put everything together. I'm just going to... Uh, I, mean, I don't like really watery, uh, watery uh, salsa, so I, all the seeds here, I like to squeeze it out, okay, to the sink. Just squeeze it out, okay. I'm just going to put it in the, my calendar. I, I like to use just half of onions, like so. Put it into your calendar as well. And cilantro. Just grab your cilantro, like good portion of it, like handful. Make sure to wash it. The only thing you need at this point is just a blender. You can use any blender. So, we got blender here. Now we're gonna put everything in there. Very simple. Put it in, all your tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and uh, jalapeno. It all depends on how hot you want. I like them spicy, so I like, I'm gonna put extra in it. There we go. And there we are with the squeezed lime in. You know what, let's do one more. Okay. And this point, we need to put some salt and pepper. I'm just going to do a pinch of salt, okay? Not too much, just a pinch. And then you wonder, uh, this 7-Up, I usually put a pinch of uh, sugar, but this time I'm just going to put some, little bit of 7-Up, okay? That's it. So now everything is all complete. So you don't want to blend too long because you don't want to be too watery. So I like them a little chunky as well. So I'm just gonna blend it about what a couple about three or four seconds maybe. And you're gonna see this. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Wow. It's really good. I mean, I'm, I like them a little bit of sweet, so, you know, if you like more, you can put more 7-Up uh, in it. If not, just a pinch of sugar as well. The, the sugar uh, cut the, the acidic, so really helpful. At this point, you just put it in the jar and you'll be ready to go. So next time, I'm going to use this salsa to make a guacamole. Anyway, I hope this video helps and see you guys next time.